shall uphold my own. Well, that's the mission of you, isn't it? You have no tail! Look here, you freebooter! Here's to swimming with empowered women!
were just in time. My dear Lachez, wind of my heart sail has been captured. It's that thieving pirate lord, Long Bronzed Gilbert. I aim to run him through with a rusty cutlass, but alas, he wears the most potent protection, Lachez's plot armor. After Gilbert sweet talked his way onto our boat last night, he stole a chance away and vanished. Must have been using that sea sorcery that's so popular here on the island. Go talk with the local witch doctor. We'll have to fight fire with fire. Plot. Armor is precious booty. No man can die when wearing it, so the legends go. But somehow, Gilbert pried the armor off my chance. Unless he... No, he had to have used some magic devilry. The witch doctor's an old friend. Her magics helped me out of many a sea pickle. Which is like a sea cucumber, but even brinier. Excuse me? Um, Hale, are you the witch doctor? I sure hope no one wakes me up. That be she, but she be asleep. Or in a trance. Or a sleep trance. Find a way to wake her from her witchy slumbers. Up you go! Well, blow me down. That trance be deeper than a sunken semiotation. But have no fear, there's a cannon not far that you might commandeer. Shoot a course! Still, my cauldron will they. Welcome to Yes We Cannon, here for all your cannon needs. If you need something louder, we've got the powder. Uh, care to give it a blast, me lord? Oh, very quaint, don't you agree, me lordy? Yes, but I'm looking for less quaint and more thunderous. You understand? Oh, you just sorry, shot! The lordy wants it louder! Bring her down below and swap her up with something what takes proper! Let's show him what the Far Mountain Clan can do! At the ready! This will not do. Only the loudest cannon will suffice. If possible, I need it to be too loud. Is that clear? But the dragon cannon is forbidden. Ever since it woke the dragons of the far mountain in the last age. Splendid. Step to it, lad. Very well. Dragon cannon. Dragon cannon hoist! Right, you dogs. Raise hoy that elder boar from which all worldly sorrows were shot. Today, we rouse the hell themselves. Isn't this exciting? Put your butts into it, you sorry spineless as a god! Don't keep the customer waiting all day! Just a moment more, I'm sure. Pull her up faster! The Lord is dying all age up here! I am so sorry, me lordy, they are new. Cannon at the ready, me lordy. All right, I'm awake. Wait, uh, I'm awake. 
sake. Who woke me from my fairy death like redemptively alive trance? Girl, stupid cannons again! Oh my goodness, that was loud. Oh, what's so bloody important that I couldn't get a little shut eye? A brigand needs to face justice, but he wears plot armor. Can it be destroyed? Destroy plot armor? Impossible! Unless you're a cunning witch doctor like myself. I can't destroy it per se. But the curse of true character could turn a crusty coward into a smaller creature. And the armor would fall right off. Well, then again, they might transform into a vicious giant monster. Uh, depending on their character. Either or. I must have misheard you. I, I thought you said transform into a giant monster. Tell you what. Meet me at the ravenous caverns, and we'll put the curse together. Together! It's a good thing you arrived when you did. A coven of coils showed up at my hut the other day, claiming my magic <clears throat> cauldron for their own. We'll reclaim it soon, but... We need the proper ingredients first. Sea hags! Comrades and concubines of long bronze steel bear they are! Bones! So it's you who wants to destroy some plot armor. <coughs> Didn't the chance own some? I thought you two were flotsam bound together in a foamy sea of love. Aye, we are now and always will be. But the chance has been kidnapped, and his plot armor sits on the burning chest of Long Grong's Gilbert. I won't rest till my love is in my arms and my blade in Gilbert's gut. Yes, just as we practiced. Are you really so eager for destruction? Serves you right.
dogs tell of a legendary predator known only as Pokey. Word is, the beast belongs to a salty old wench named Auntie Ank. Now we'll harvest the materials for the curse in this hex caster. Now we'll need to collect curse essence from some sorry cursed souls. Head to the grave of the bone-picked pirates. They made the mistake of spending a night in these haunted caves, only to be eaten alive by cursed crabs. Now they too share the curse, transforming to their true crabby form when they grow weak. Summon them with the caster, and when they transform, put them out of their misery. We'll use their salty essence to make the curse. I didn't always trust the witch doctor so, but she's never failed to haul me backside out of the brine. Once she's got her cauldron, I'm confident she can concoct a cure for our conundrum.
Come! Let's send those sea hags back to the slithering sea whence they came! Grab my cauldron and prepare the curse! Whoever you are, you handsomely mysterious murderer, you'll be joining the ranks of my undead crew, once we make you dead first, that is. <laughs> crew, attack! Hold out best you can! Old Bones is on his way! Justice has been served. Arts? Would you be asking for my help if I wasn't? Now you, drop the curse essence into the cauldron. Oh, tis a powerful kindness you do me. A thousand thanks. It's done. Gather it up in the hex caster and you can transform long bronze skill bear out of that armor. Well done, witch doctor, and you, me hearty, whatever your name or profession may be. Now to Long Bronze Skill Bear's Cave to rescue La Chance. We better get a move on. We've got a long walk, followed by a longer swim. He can swim, can't he? Bones, I'm insulted. Let me just whip up a portal for you. He never ceased to amaze. Come on. You've been with La Chance for many moons, Bones. Why haven't you made him your first mate for life? Tis a fair question, witch doctor. And after long bronzed Gilbert sinks to the salty deep and the chance is free, I just might. Try to parlay. 
No more blood needs to be shed, unless that blood be the blood of long bronzed Gilbert. Have you heard of the pirate lass whose ship was so fine as she passed? Did you like that poem? You can hear the rest of it at the Tavern in Brightpuff. Parley! I declare Parley! I'm here to talk with your captain. Get out here and earn your keep, you daft brain goons! Yar! The gang's back together! Parley! Do you have an appointment? Parley! I don't make appointments. I'm an adventurer. I'm always welcome. Parley! Uh, may I ask then, what is the nature of this proposed chat with Captain Gilbert? Parley! To demand he release Le Chance at once. Parley, that seems like a threat. I thought we were parlaying. Maybe learn some manners, you know. No way we're letting you in with that barbaric attitude. Damn the ancient and subtle code of parlay. Pirate law protects these scallywags, so we can't just fight through. Blast. How I wish we could simply curse the lot of them. Wait, can we do that? Brilliant! That just might work! Sea creatures probably aren't under the purview of pirate law. Hit him with a hexy! Hold on. 
He's reviving his whole crew with just one soul. Part of a soul! Keep up, Sally Mal. Just how much soul energy does the chance have anyway? I don't know, enough. It's not like a whole bunch of pages. if ye wish to join him. <clears throat> My bosom companion through seas fair and foul. I'll miss that body. I worked so hard to firm up that coccyx. But there's no time, Bones, darling. You've got to stop Gilbert. I... Oh, I don't know how much longer ah! I can weather this storm. Come, me hearty. The murdering bastard's on his ship, making ready to flee.
bones. There's someone here who'd like to see you. Bones? Can you hear me, Bones? A chance! My love, you're... you're free! Free and waiting for you? You always come for me, Bonesy. As sure as the tide, here you are. Oh, the chance! But I'm a skeleton, and ye be not but ether. We can't truly be together, unless... Unless me matey here uses some sea sorcery! Me hearty, hex me! Is that truly your wish? Usually, curses are to be avoided. Sure is sure! Once I'm a fearsome giant crab, I'll pop right out of me plot armor, and then ye can unmoor my ghostly spirit from my corporeal bonds! and complicated sea sorcery ritual. Well, don't just stand there talking about it. Get me spirit out of here, uh, if you please. Sure thing, Bones. Hold still. Bibbidi <laughs> badonka bum! It worked. At long last, I'm free of that cursed bony prison. Oh, Bones. You're just as beautiful as the day we met. I love. When I'm with you, I'm the luckiest pirate in all the seas. I'd give up all the nautical debauchery in the world for just one more. The chance. Oh, Bones. You're a terrible scoundrel. <laughs> Yarr, and don't ye forget it, love. As for you, crew. I bequeath to ye me chest of worldly plunder. We won't be needing it where we're going. Tis all yours, me hearty. Now come see us away. Tis terrible luck starting a journey without a proper send-off. Fare thee well, friends. And may our paths cross again before your voyage ends. What? Voyage? <laughs> but where to? We have no chart. I don't need a map to know we're bound for adventure, dearest. Let's get away from all this. Away, chance away. We'll go away together. Away, chance away. We'll far away. 